All right, so in the meantime, while my fuel pump is on order and I'm waiting for it to come in, I went ahead and pressure washed my valve covers here that I got. Um, man, they got a lot of rust pitting on them. I mean, you know, it didn't, when I was looking at the pictures on eBay, they, they, I think the, the closest one in the picture was this one because this doesn't have any pinning on it. And um, anyway, they didn't have any close-ups of this one. If they did, I would not have bought these. But I got them cheap and see if we can get these media blasted. And I'm hoping that, that they'll clean up okay. And then um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have these powder coated. The drive line was out of the car when I bought it. It was sitting in the back seat. If you look at the first video, I believe that I posted, um, or maybe the second one. So I'm going to work on getting um, this yoke here polished up with some um, probably Scotch Brite and uh, emery cloth. So I want to get this all prepped and ready to go. Um, I may even have some new U joints put in. I, I know it's the right thing to do, but again, I'm just trying to get the car started right now and see if I can drive it a little bit. Um, but I may end up doing that. Okay, I just wanted to do a little close up video for you guys so you can see the surface rust here on this yoke here. So I'm just using some Scotch Brite pad here and um, check that out. It's uh, rust is coming off pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. So this has the surface has to be really smooth. So, so when it when you slide it in the transmission, um, this seal we it, it's going to ride on this. So we don't it, it it has to be super smooth. It'll damage the seal. So I'm gonna right now. Of course, I'm just knocking off the surface rust, and then I'll come back uh, with the emery cloth. I don't have any on me um, because my son. I just discovered used the emery cloth that I had. So, <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm doing here, and um, and I'm going to come back again with the emery cloth later. Get it all polished up. This way it looks good, and it's ready to drop in there. What I'm going to end up doing is is probably powder coating this, just like I powder coated the Monte Carlo drive lines so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this car out man I'm really excited about it but um, first things first Monte Carlo's priority right now um, this one I'm just I'm just going roadkill on it for a little while uh, until I can until the Monte Carlo's done at least so not too bad okay, I got my new fuel pump in so let's see if this one works yeah. Before I put it in, I'm going to do the same thing I did to that other one when I was testing it to make sure that that, that diaphragm is not leaking. last time. And it's sealed. No air is blowing through. So as I had mentioned, there's a diaphragm in here that's used to help suck the fuel, you know, when this lever moves. So sometimes, uh, apparently sometimes that doesn't seal correctly when they're uh, building these. Anyways, so this one looks like it's good. Okay, I'm going to add some grease in here in this cavity. That's what it calls out to do. And then I'm also, again, going to put some grease on top of this here where the camshaft uh, will make contact with this lever here. Let's put a couple of squirts in there. Down there with the flashlight and see see how it looks. Pretty good. All right. 
right, so I've got some on the tip. Let's get this thing put on. All right, I got the fuel pump changed out. I'm gonna start it up now. Let's see what's going on. This looks like the same problem I was having before. The fuel pump's not pumping fuel. Okay, so it looks like the diaphragm is blown out of the fuel pump again. So I just blew through that fuel hose there and it's spilling fuel all over that little uh, leak hole in the fuel pump, the relief hole. So second fuel pump in a row that's no good. I bought a Delphi fuel pump. I'm not gonna buy these anymore. I'm gonna go get my money back. All right, I took that fuel pump back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a block off plate and I'm just gonna put an electric fuel pump in. I'm done with this old mechanical garbage. So uh, that's the route I'll be taking next. So stay tuned. Uh, I also picked up uh, a carburetor rebuild kit and uh, gallon of variables here so my plan is to rebuild this uh, two barrel motocraft carburetor as well so stay tuned